get ready for the dictation start in the above noted factual backdrop learned counsel for the petitioner would submit the onus was upon the contesting respondents to prove the execution of the will which they failed onus would shift upon the petitioners only upon the contesting respondents having discharged their part in terms of section 68 oblique 69 of the evidence act the marginal witnesses to the will were not produced since the will was not proved the property would devolve upon the petitioners in terms of section 171 of the up jamindari abolition and land reforms act in rebuttal learned counsel for the contesting respondents would submit the registered will was duly proved by producing the deed writer as the marginal witnesses were not alive there was no occasion for puran lal to have executed an unregistered will in favor of the petitioners as the relationship between the brothers and sore documentary evidence and material produced would clearly show that the contesting respondents were family to puran lal it is not being disputed by the learned counsel for the parties that the revisional authority under the act is the last court of fact and law proof of a will has to be strictly in terms of section 63 of the indian succession act 1925 read with sections 68 and 69 as the case may be of the indian evidence act 1872 supreme court in h bankat chala ayangar versus b n thimma jamma and others 1959 supplementary 1 scr 426 opined as follows however there is one important feature which distingu- distinguishes wills from other documents unlike other documents the will speaks from the death of the testator and so when it is propounded or produced before a court the testator who has already departed the world cannot say whether it is his will or not and his aspect naturally introduce introduces an element of solemnity in the decision of the question as to whether the document propounded is proved to be the last will and testament of the departed testator even so in dealing with the proof of wills the court will start on the same inquiry as in the case of the proof of documents the propounder would be called upon to show by satisfactory evidence that the will was signed by the testator that the testator at the relevant time was in a sound and disposing state of mind that he understood the nature and effect of the dispositions and put his signature to the document of his own free will in other words the onus on the propounder can be taken to be discharged on proof of the essential facts just indicated in srimati guru versus atma singh and others 1992 to scr 30 the supreme court held as follows with regard to proof of a will the law is well settled that the mode of proving a will does not ordinarily differ from that of proving any other document except as to the special requirement prescribed in the case of a will by section 63 of the indian succession act the onus of proving the will is on the propounder and in the absence of suspicious circumstances surrounding the execution of the will proof of testamentary capacity and signature of the testator as required by law is sufficient to discharge the onus yet again section 68 of the indian evidence act 
postulates the mode and manner in which proof of execution of document required by law to be attested stating that the execu execution must be proved by at least one attesting witnesses if an attesting witness is alive and subject to the process of the court and capable of giving evidence stop